Welcome back to another rig review. And today we're going to take a look at Lego rigs. That's awesome. They're super cute. This is courtesy of the Agora community and their Anim Challenge. You can go on the website. Of course, there will be a link in the description. You can see the announcement clip. You see the prizes here. You got 27 days still left. And I'm going to look at all of these here. The Maya versions at least, right? You got your Alpha, Beta, and Delta. There's also this one just ahead that's based on their physical rigs. And you can also go on the side and see the Lego base, which you can customize, which is awesome. And then there's a cape. And on their side, you also have movies on how to customize that and explanation of what the anime challenge is and so on. Of course, I will also post this on my Animation Buffet site where I post reviews and walkthroughs of other rigs. So if you are in search of rigs, feel free to go through there. There's a lot. These are all the newer ones all the way back to some older ones there is a lot so check it out and going back to maya here you got alpha beta and delta and i'm gonna look at beta just because beta is old <laughs> and there is some stuff with the face i mean they're all basically the same but they have individually little things here and there that are different i've never had lego rigs it's awesome i love their movies it's super cool to have that in maya here so that's your Main controller, that moves everything. And of course, always check the channels here. You have your subdivision levels. Global scale is through this. So if you hit scale on your keyboard, nothing happens here. You got control visibility. You have secondary control visibility. You can see that here. That's for props and other stuff. I'm going to leave it on. And you have the geo in general. You got your reference type template or not. Joints, if you need to see them or not. And then display type and so on. That is that for this. This is part of the big one. Then you have the other one here that also moves everything and that could be for, I don't know, like a gimbal version or for me, I always bring these down. And now you have a new pivot and now you can have a flying Lego character with the proper pivot point here. Now this channel has only that and you can't scale and that's that. Usually I start with the feet, which I will do here as well, but there's not much besides this here, which makes sense. You can't rotate because that's the fun part about this rig. So if you translate, you can see that this is happening here. All right, it's in one axis because of course <laughs> it's a Lego piece. Just in case you don't want to do that, you can say lock axis off and now you can cheat around a little bit. Of course, with anything like this, robots or Lego pieces, once you go past, you can see the section. So be very careful in terms of how far you go. And you have the follow space for rotations and translates. That's also there in case you want to change that. We have here on the side, you can rotate it like this. This is for your IKFK switch. So if you switch over there, now that is your FK in classic fashion, of course. And it is in all axes or back to IK, ooh, seven like here. And then you can, of course, do it all like that. Now, this also functions as a detached part. So it's detached. You can see a slight change here in the uh, control, of course. If I take this now and move it over, it's detached. And you can see here how this is uh, functionally all correct. And you can do this with all of these. So you have it here. You have it on the arm as well. So if I take this guy, select the root, you can see the arm is gone. It's awesome. I love it. Then Let's go up here. You have your root, of course, moves like that. Maybe I should attach this again. <laughs> and you have one in the middle again for gimbal. And you can see the IK legs are stuck there. That's your classic thing. Again, you can rotate that like that. And you can rotate, of course, this like this. Now, the cool thing is this here. When you go, you don't have hips, obviously, but you have the chest control which rocks the character like that. I love it. So good. And of course, you can go the other way like that. And this, of course, for all three rigs the same. Now, if you do want to move the chest piece just up like that, can it detaches like that? You can use that controller. Now, if you do this, it's going to pivot off of here. So you can, of course, you can do whatever you want to do. But of course, as you do it, and I'll leave this off, you can see how quickly things are visible and and they break the universe in a way of uh, Lego pieces. But again, you got a detached part here as well, just in case it needs to float away. 
There you go. It's awesome. I love it. Now, going to the arms, you have this controller here. So this, you can see, you can move this like crazy. Of course, that's your FK controller. You can go here and you have the same thing here, which gives you more options too. Again, you can do it like that. Or you can say IKFK switch. And then you have your controller here. And then you can move it around. And just like with the leg, of course, this is correct in terms of what axis doesn't bend out at the elbow here. You can also say don't lock it. And then that gives you extra freedom right there. You can use this here again to detach it. It's awesome. I love it. And then here you have your wrist control. Now, if you do this, of course, careful, it's going to intersect. But if you do that, you got your peg length. So you can make this obviously shorter if you don't want it to intersect here. Or for this, if you wanted to have like an extended arm type of thing, or potentially smear frames, whatever you want to do, you got that option. Kind of awesome. It's kind of like a fighting shot like this. Anyway, you have that. This is the additional control here that I had uh, visibly. This is for props. So if you have anything that you want to attach to it, some whatever prop, weapon, another Lego arm from someone else, whatever it is, you can constrain it to this. And this is, of course, going to follow that. Of course, you got your shoulder control. If you go too far, of course, it will break the illusion, but even a little bit of the shrug there. That is that. And of course, that's on both sides. Then we go to the neck. Right. So you have this here. Of course, you can see it attaches that. You can rotate only so far. If you feel like, well, let's go to the other one here. You have one here. If you rotate that head back, on this one, you have neck extend. You can see how far down it can go. So if you don't want this little piece to be visible here, you can cover that if you want. You also on this one have show hair, yeah or nay. So you can turn that on or off. And then you have detached part. Of course, you have all the rotation orders, follow chest, all that good stuff that is on all of them. Then up here, you can move that around. I love it how you can technically detach everything. It's so awesome. I love it. Now, none of these have any scale options, so you can't really modify too much, but that is the deal for that. Then we have this here. That's for your eyes. So of course, it looks where it's supposed to look. You have the follow or not. So if I turn this off, move the eyes over there, take this head con and move it over, you can see how the eyes are staying fixed to where this is. And if you don't have that on and I take this and I move it, the eyes stay put. You get the same thing for um, the single eyes as well. So that like that. And then if you select this one, you can see here, Face rig on off. So bing, we can turn that off and now we have more. You also have head smooth. That's just quickly here. If you are rendering, so you do wireframe on shader, you can see the difference here. And you head smooth to one and you can see how that is. So face rig on, what is that giving you? Besides awesomeness. So you have your main controller here to move the mouth around. You have this here to shape your mouth. And because this character is older, you have your your wrinkly <laughs> folds here, just like here and here, which is not present. That's a lie. It is present on this one. <laughs> I lied, but not present on this one because she is younger. Let's turn this on. You can see here, same thing. And if I go over here and you have secondary controls visible, you can see here, the touch is all the same. So back to this. You also have your main controller for the eye sockets. You got expressions. So if you go here, you have eye one, two, and so on. So if you don't want to shape these, they are there, ready to go, open eye. And then, of course, if you do want something here, there's that. There is also this. And the same thing here for eyebrows. If you want to make this a bit more detailed, or if you select this, obviously it selects everything, but you have eyebrow version whatever you need here, I'm going through. There you go. It's awesome. I love that. So that's for your eyebrows, eyes, and the mouth as well. So in here, same thing, standard, neutral into that. And even if you're here, you can still take this and reshape it however you want. And then depending on which rig you're using. So here you got your secondary visibility on. So for this character, for instance, 
I don't check for all of them, whatever you have here. You can select this and you can see how, if I select it, there you go. You can move that around a little bit to change a little bit of her hair, including the helmets. You got that option as well, but this is of course just a helmet. One of these days, if I have time, which I never have, <laughs> I do want to animate some Lego characters. It's awesome to see that. Look at these, these are great. And then of course, like I said, you can have your custom ones as well. If you want to have a, a basic looking or whatever, you want to customize your Lego figures. And that is that, super cool, I love it. And also very light, obviously. There's not much in terms of deformation, so this is going to be a very light rake. It's going to be super fun to animate, so have fun. Head over to the Adam Challenge website, of course, link in description again, like I said. That is that, can't wait to see all submissions, and thanks for watching. Hopefully, tune back in for more reviews.